And uh, what my company provides here is an opportunity for you to customize your restroom, your kitchen, or your dining room with just some brand new flavor, very colorful pieces. They're available in a 36 count, an 8 by 8 size, as well as a 12 by 12 size. And basically what you're going to be doing is emailing uh, via text or, or email one of your best family photo pictures. And what you're doing, you're sending this family heirloom, this photo that's kind of been laying around. You've been trying to, very nice photo you have, maybe if you're in your family, you've been trying to figure out what could you do with this photo. Well, here at Ceramic Tiling, what you can do with that photo is turn your kitchen into a brand new experience for visitors. You have high traffic coming through during the holidays. They can check out this very nice floor that you have, unlike anybody else's that they've ever, ever seen in their life. Like I said, this is something new wave that I'm bringing forth for you to take advantage of today. It's a great opportunity. In fact, a great picture for our restroom. So I just recently ordered a box of 36 count. And like I said, this is a high gloss finished product. Uh, very, very, has a lot of longevity. Uh, you can enjoy it for many, many years to come. Uh, very easy to care for. Uh, very durable. Very uh, high quality, premium uh, ceramic towel for you and your family to enjoy. I can, it can sustain high traffic, uh, walking on it. Uh, it's not a problem. This is, this is, this is not a, a, a weak vessel. You know what I'm saying? This is very strong tile pieces. High quality. Uh, I have a box of 36 count right here. I just recently ordered, like I said before, I uh, had an heirloom uh, photo. You know, it's very simple. Like I said, you can just email your photo or you can just simply uh, via text your photo. You're going to email that photo to BF. I'm sorry, this is B as in boy. B F B B finish either 12 by 12 your choice or 8 by 8 ceramic tile piece for your kitchen bathroom dining room very colorful very durable very premium for your family to enjoy for many many years to come I can't stress that many years this is a very high high quality piece uh, if you don't believe me let me just pick it up and show you uh, it's like I said this is a 36 count box here uh, this is one I just poured out of the box recently because I want to show you guys because I'm just so excited and eager to show you. I want to kind of tap up against this to show you what you, the foundation of it. It's a high quality glass ceramic tile piece. This is the image of me and my wife. We went to the beach one particular time. Uh, high, high quality backing. This is for very rigid. So if you're going to be using a concrete or some type of uh, motor, mortar, uh, to lay your foundation down using a concrete or some type of uh, motor, mortar, uh, to lay your foundation down for your tile pieces. Uh, you can either do that yourself, because I'm going to have a video and following with this video to show you an example of a person laying down tile, in case you're going to be doing it yourself. But you can easily just hire someone to do it out for you. Doing it yourself, very, very, uh, also a great way to take advantage of uh, laying that tile down, especially if you want to. You know, if you want to save a little bit, I, I would say. But uh, very great, high quality, high quality pieces. Like I say, this is something rare. Take advantage of it. This is something very rare. Take advantage of it. Um, so if, if there's anything else I might want to say to you guys today, uh, just take advantage of this product. Um, available 24-7. Please email us. Thank you. Yes, this is Wade over at... Uh customize my ceramic floor tiling uh, if you have any questions concerns that email also that email is for us to send us your photos for your ceramic tile this email that you need to send your uh, photos for your tile or also if you have any questions concerned this is our main email address and that is b redman one at live.com once again b redman one at live.com when i say one that's simply the number one. So I'm going to say that for you one more time. B Redman one at live.com. And let me spell that for you. That's B as in boy. R E D M O N D one at live.com. That live is spelled as the word live is spelled L I V E. That's it. Once again, B Redman one at live.com. Thank you. Oh, also, one more, one more thing before I forget. I've included an instruction video for laying your tile. And that video, you'll find that on the YouTube video. It's that arrow, that drop-down box right there by the description of the video. Hit that, that arrow that drops you down, and you're going to get a link to hit, hit, hit on that link. And you'll get someone showing you on YouTube a demonstration of how to lay tile. 
properly, ceramic tile. I have one right here on this video, but it's kind of distorted, so I thought you needed to take a look at a more clear version. Thank you. Yes, uh, also if you would like to order, if you would like to place an order with us for the uh, customized ceramic tile, um, hit the drop down box right here in this YouTube description and our website to go on our site to order from ceramic, customized ceramic tile. You can hit that drop down and you can go to our site to order our website. Thank you. Installing our tile floor in a kitchen. Now we've already laid our foundation, and you'll want to do the same. To see how we installed our underlayment, watch How to Prep for Porcelain and Ceramic Tile Floors at Lowe's.com slash videos. Now, before we get started, be aware that the steps and materials for installing a tile floor are different than installing wall tile. If that's what you're doing, ask a Lowe's associate for help selecting the right materials. You can even find product guides in store to help you. There are different patterns you can use when laying a tile floor. Now we're going to use a simple stacked pattern using 12 inch square tiles. If you'd like something different for your floor, we carry many different sizes, types, and designs of tile at Lowe's. Now if you're not confident in installing a tile floor, see a Lowe's associate. We install many types of flooring. Always follow local building codes and read all the manufacturer's instructions. Also make sure the subfloor is uniform, level, the right thickness, and in good condition. An associate can help you with anything you might need to repair your subfloor. Now, if you remember from the previous video, we mark reference lines on the back of board to help us lay the tile square to the room. We'll start laying our tiles in the center of the room and work out. That way, the full tiles will be in the center and the cut tiles will be along the edge. We're almost ready to lay the tile, but before we do, we'll pull some of the tiles out of the boxes and mix them with different packages, just in case there might be a color difference between the boxes. We'll set our tiles in thin set mortar. We'll mix it in a bucket to the recommended consistency. Then, starting at the cross section in the middle of the room, spread the thin set with a trowel. Work within a three foot section at a time and try not to cover your reference lines. Once the thin set mortar is down, comb over it with the notched side of the trowel at a 45 degree angle. Comb it in one direction without making swirl patterns to ensure uniform application. Remove any excess with the trowel and place it back in the bucket. Now lay out your tiles along your reference lines. Just slightly press and twist and use spacers between the tiles. Keep laying the tile. Periodically lift one to make sure the mortar is sticking. Where it isn't, you can apply additional thin set to the back of the tile. If you're not getting good adhesion, use a trowel with larger notches. Any mortar on the face of the tiles can be wiped away with a damp sponge. Once a few of your tiles are set, check for any high spots using a level. Even them out using a rubber mallet. Then keep checking as you cover the room. Continue laying the tile in three foot sections. As you can see, we're going to have to cut the tile along the cabinets and walls. For small straight cuts, you can use a tile cutter. But for this larger job, a tile saw is easier and faster. Along the carpet, we're installing a tile edging strip. We spread a little thin set, set the strip in the mortar, then cut the tile to fit. Okay, all the tiles been set. Now we let the thin set mortar dry for at least 24 hours. The next step is to grout the joints. Mix the grout following the manufacturer's instructions, making sure you have the right water to mix ratio. Usually, the instructions call for a paste-like consistency. Apply the grout with a rubber grout float, pressing the grout into the joints. Then run diagonally across the joints, removing as much excess as possible. After 20 minutes, wipe the grout lines in a circular motion with a sponge and clean water. Any residue that remains can be removed with grout haze remover. After you finish with the grout, avoid heavy traffic for 72 hours. It'll take about three weeks for the grout to cure completely. Then apply a grout sealer to the joints. The last step is to attach any trim work or transition strips. This kitchen had a plain floor without much character. But after adding floor tile, we've updated the look and given the homeowners a durable floor. If you want to see other projects that can update your home's interior, visit Lowe's.com slash videos.